Good morning and welcome to Custom Corner. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a porch pot. Uh, mixing both perennial plants, such as this, we have a Carly Rose grass. I am also going to be incorporating it. This is also perennial. This is an Enchincia Grand Gold. I have a couple coleus. These are gonna be my height in the center of my arrangement. Then I also have some ornamental peppers some gold crust and the, for a pop of this is the heliotrope so the first thing you want to do with all your plants is soak them well you want to put them in a sink or somewhere where they can get watered and you want to make sure they're nice and wet before you start planting them so just give them a little drink and just let them sit for a couple minutes and drain this way, when you go to finish your watering, it's just going to be a light water in at the very end. So after your plants or while they're draining, you want to put your soil into your pot. I like to fill mine three quarters of the way, as you can see in the pot, and I'd use an organic potting mix that we sell here at Farmer John's. So once your pot is filled, then you can start placing your plants in pot. Some of them like this large grass. This is a perennial, the Carly Rose. You may need to take the pot off. As you can see, it's root bound. So the best way to handle root bound plants is to take scissors or a knife and cut up as much as you can to loosen up your roots. So what you're doing is just loosening these roots that have grown so tight in this pot so that they can open up and start growing into the pot. So the first thing you want to do in your pot is place in your height. So I've chosen this grass. Again, this is a perennial grass. There's all different types of grasses, but I like the look of this one. It's soft and I'm going for a softer look. Place the large one in the back. Again, you have three quarters of soil, so you have room to work. You can place all your plants in and then put your soil in to fill as you go. Now I'm working on my height. So with the height, I want to put in my Grand Gold, is the name of this one. This is also a perennial. And again, you can see lots of roots. This one you want to just leave like that. You don't want to mess with it too much. The roots are already loose, so you just want to plant it in place. I'm going to put it on this side of my arrangement. That's going to give me a nice spot of color right on that right side. Another name for this flower is coneflower. So if you're familiar with coneflower and the perennial grasses, this is a coleus. Coleuses are great for color. They come in many different colors and varieties and they get tall. Some of them are bushy. This one I'm using is some height and some color in my center here. So I'm going to place this in. However, it's going to sit, I want it to sit up higher. So now I want to put some dirt in the pot, kind of secure this right side of my pot and build it up so that I can add other layers. So the trick to planting in pots is to have a layering. You want different heights. Of course, the one in front of the grass, you want it, this one will get a little bit higher. This one will stay roughly around the same, maybe a little bit higher. So now I want to put like a burst of color, something other than color color, but maybe like a silvery color. This is called icicle. I'm going to add this on the left side, just so I have like a contrast of textures and colors. So I'm going to put that one in that place. And you're going to kind of fill that dirt in around it to hold it there because, again, we're working in layers. So you want that to hold up on that side of the pot. And just move it in and press it down like that. The next plant I'm going to put in place is a plectranthus. This is a trailing plant. And you want to have some kind of interest coming down the front of your pot. So this is the side I'm choosing to put it on. And that's what it'll look like situated on that side of the pot. Next, I'm going to put ornamental peppers in place. Now, these also come in different textures, colors, shapes. I chose this one with multicolors. So it'll pick up the colors in the coleus and in the coneflower. And that one's going to go right in front. Just so we have that pop of color right in the front. And my last plant is another coleus, where this one is more of a burnt rust. This one's more of a burgundy color. We have a little bit more runes, different shades of white, purple, maroon. 
and I'm going to plant that on this side to contrast onto that gray that we put in there. And this will get large. This will fill in this whole area here. This will spread out also. And there you have it. So thank you for watching. And again, like us on Facebook and check us out on Instagram. And thank you for stopping by.